I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my channel, Tiffany Ray Yoga. We're going to do a power class today. So start at the top of your mat. Find your toes towards the front. Heels straight back. Open the palms to either side of the room. Let the shoulders go back and down. Bring the belly into the spine. Wiggle the toes. Place them back down on the mat. Good. Close your eyes here. We're going to start breathing. In through the nose and out through the nose. Just kind of check in, see how you're feeling today. See what part of the body needs a little extra attention. And start breathing equally in through the nose. And on the exhale, breathe out through the nose with a little bit of constriction in the back of the throat. So it sounds kind of like an ocean breath, like this. That's your ujjayi breath. You can keep that breath throughout the practice. On the next inhale, raise the arms up over the head. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale the arms down around and up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale the arms up. This time I'm going to grab the wrist, pull it over, open the chest towards the sky. Nice little side bend. Inhale the hands to the center. And then pull the opposite way. Make sure you have equal weight throughout your feet on both feet. Inhale to the center. Exhale, forward fold. Now you can open your stance a little bit here. Widen the feet. Grab opposite elbows. Just kind of sway side to side. Now sway a little bit faster. And everything kind of loosened up. Come back to center, bring the hands down, heel toe your feet back under your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees deeply and then roll the vertebrae up as you push through the legs. And big inhale to come up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale the arms down around and up. Take it to the side, and then to the other side. Big inhale, exhale, bring it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Now flatten the back, push through the legs, inhale all the way up. Bring the hands together, have a seat in child or in chair pose. So sit the hips back, elongate the spine. You can bring the arms up if that feels good. Sit back. Breathe. If your shoulders are tight, you can cactus the arms here. Look up. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. With a flat back, come all the way up. And then grab the wrist, take it over to the side. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, this time we're going to come back into our chair, hands together, sit a little bit deeper. Now take the opposite elbow to knee, twisting toward the hands, the heart towards the hands here. And then if you want to go a little bit deeper in your twist, open the arms up, pressing that elbow towards the knee. Make sure your knees are bent 
equally. Exhale, bring the hands back together towards the center. Now we're going to come up on the inhale. Nice, big on the tiptoes, open up, smile. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, arms down, around and up. Exhale, have a seat. And then take the opposite elbow to knee and twist the heart towards the hands. Sit a little deeper. Open up the arms if you opened them on the other side. Good. Exhale the hands back together towards the center. Inhale big and smile. Tiptoes. Exhale hands together. Inhale arms down around and up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift. Flat back. Shoulders back. Exhale. So back into your forward fold. And then place the hands down on the mat and you can step back or hop into your plank. Release all the way down to the ground. Release the feet. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale. Back into your down dog. This being our first down dog of the day, we're going to walk through. Pressing the heels towards the mat, bending one knee and then the other. Open the fingers wide, press into the knuckles. Rotate the arms to the biceps up and the triceps down. Good. Inhale to come to your plank, holding plank here for a moment. Bring the belly button up and in. Imagine there's fire underneath your belly. Good. And now exhale, we're going to imagine that cat movement and we're going to round the back, back into down dog. Good. Inhale, roll forward. So the head is the last thing to come forward into your plank. Exhale, bring the belly button in to the spine, roll the back, heels go down, chest towards the thighs, push away. Big inhale. Bring everything up, slowly roll yourself into the plank. Good. Exhale, slowly roll back, pressing the heels down towards the ground. One more time, slowly inhale and roll. That's the last thing to come back. Exhale, bring it up and push the heels back. Take a breath here in your down dog. Good. Come to your knees just for a moment. Bring the back, the big toes together in the back. Have a seat in child's pose. Now here, if you ever lose your ujjayi breath or your equal breaths in and out, just come back to child's pose at any point. And then join us when you're ready. Inhale, we're going to come back up to our down dog. Inhale, the right leg up to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips, kind of like a hydrant or a dog or a dog. Just found a hydrant. And open it up. Try to keep the shoulders steady with the mat. Go back to your long leg. Hips are equal again. Take knee to right elbow. So we're in a plank here. Shoulders over wrists. Inhale it back up. Exhale. Knee to opposite elbow. Inhale it back up. And then take it knee to nose. Crunching in. Inhale it back up. Now exhale this time. We're going to take that foot you need to, you can just push it back up there. And then find your back knee on the floor. Inhale, coming up. Square up the hips. Take a few breaths here. Imagine yourself grounding down firmly 
And then your upper body is light and airy. Good. Exhale, hands to the mat. Pick up the back knee. Leaving the left hand down, raise up the right arm for the twist. Keeping the knee in line. So make sure if it's flaying out to the side, bring it back in. Good. Exhale that hand down. Now we're going to step back and to your plank. If Chaturanga is in your practice, then go for it. I'll just be teaching Cobra here. So come all the way down to the ground in one straight line. Release the feet. Press into the pelvis. Inhale the heart up. Exhale, back down into your downward dog. Good. Press through the fingers and all those knuckles. Inhale, the left leg to the sky. Pressing the right heel back towards the ground. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Back to parallel, three-legged dog. Take it knee to left elbow. Hold in that plank. Inhale, up. Big inhales. Big exhales. Other knee. Inhale, back up. Knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Now we're going to place that foot by the left hand. And relaxing the back knee down to the ground. Squeeze the inner thighs energetically together. Raise up. Nice stable lower body. Rooting into the ground. Light and area on the top. Shoulders are relaxed. Breathe. Exhale the hands down. Tuck the toes, raise the leg. Let the right hand stay pressed into the mat as we rotate and open for the twist. Left hand reaching towards the sky. Pressing through the right hand. Good. Exhale that hand down. Take the back foot, front foot back into your plank. Exhale, bring it all the way down to the ground. Release the top foot. The tops of the feet are pressed into the mat. Pelvis into the mat. Inhale, up for cobra. Exhale, push it back into your down dog. Take a few breaths here. You can walk your feet up just a touch if you need to. Big inhales and exhales. Check the head, yes and no. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Bring it knee to elbow. Inhale it up. Knee to opposite elbow. Inhale up. Knee to nose. Inhale up. Then pull it through by the right hand. Sit up for warrior two with the flat back foot down. Inhale, come up and open to your warrior two. So look over your fingertips in the front, bend the knee deeply, squeeze the belly button to the spine, make sure your arms are even, squeezing the legs energetically together, and make sure you can see your big toe. Now relax the shoulders. Push on the pinky toe edge of the back foot. Flip over the front hand, reverse, pulling through that side body. Bend deeper into the knee, opening the heart towards the chest. Good. Exhale, we're going to bring that elbow to the thigh, reach over, squeeze the inner thighs together. And pushing through the pinky toe and the middle finger, imagine a nice, long, straight diagonal line. Uh, exhale, back and toe your warrior two. And then cartwheel the heels down, hands down. Come back, take your vinyasa. So 
all the way down. Release the tops of the feet, press into the pelvis, inhale, heart forward for Cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes back into down dog. And other side, inhale the left leg up. Knee to elbow. Big inhale, knee to opposite elbow. And then knee to nose. We're going to bring it all the way through by the left hand. Setting up for warrior two. Come on up, cartwheel the hands up. Squeak down into that warrior two. Make sure you can see your toe. Looking over your middle finger. Check back. There you go. Sit down lower. Good. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Reverse the top hand and come back. Sink lower in the front leg. Exhale, bring the arm to the thigh, reach over. I don't want a lot of pressure on the leg. So if I needed to, I could take that arm out of it completely. Nice long diagonal line. Exhale back into warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down. Take it into your vinyasa. Nice straight line. Inhale up for cobra. Exhale down into downward dog. A few breaths here. Inhale the right leg up. Knee to elbow. Knee to opposite elbow. Knee to nose. Bring it through by the front hand. Coming all the way up. Squeeze the inner thighs for stability. We're on the up off the heel. Hips facing forward. Sink a little bit lower. Nice strong back leg. Belly button into the spine. I'm going to open it up to the right. Uh, twisting open. Inhale to come up. And exhale. Twist open. Inhale. Come up. One more way each side. Squeeze again, relax the shoulders, ground to the earth from the lower body. Relax the face. Exhale the hands down. Little twist here just for a moment to stretch that out. Exhale, hands back, foot back. Take your vinyasa into cobra. Inhale up. Exhale back into down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Take it to knees to elbow. And knees to nose. The opposite elbow first. And all the way back up. Come all the way through. Staying on the ball of the foot. Inhale to come up. Relax your shoulders here. Strengthen the back leg, bending the front knee. Good, starting to the left. Exhale and twist open. Inhale up. It's okay if you lose your balance. That's part of the challenge. Inhale up. Sink in. Exhale. Take the foot back. Take your vinyasa. 
Lower all the way to the ground, release the toes. Inhale, leading with the chest. Keep the elbows in nice and close to the body. I want to come out here, back into your down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Knee to elbow. Knee to opposite elbow. And knee to nose. And pull it all the way through. This time put your foot in a warrior one position. So it's about 45 degrees, still pointing forwards a little bit. Bend the front knee. Inhale, come all the way up. And to your warrior one. Hips sh should be parallel to the front of the mat. Good. Exhale, the hands behind you, inner life. The fingers pulling the shoulders down the back. Now lead with the chest, right beside that bent knee. Bend the knee even deeper, pulling the arms away from the ears. Let your head be heavy. Don't just pull your arms down. Try to pull them away from your back. Everybody has a different range of motion here. So we're just shooting for away from the back and away from the ears. Good. Slowly release the hands. Let them drape on the mat as you come on up. Big inhale. Exhale. Take the hands down. Take your vinyasa. Or you can skip it. All the way down, release the toes. Inhale up. Exhale back into your down dog. And inhale the left leg up. Knee to elbows and knee to nose. Bring it all the way through. Put that back foot into your warrior one. Square up the hips. Come on up. Nice big inhale. Exhale the hands. Interlace the opposite pinky on top. It just kind of feels awkward that way. Relax the shoulders down. Exhale, lead with the chest. Bend the knee deeper. Don't let your hips fall to the left. And slowly release the hands. Come on back up. Big inhale. Exhale, take the hands down by the feet. Come back into your plank all the way down. Inhale up for cobra. Exhale, forth, back into down dog. Inhale, we're gonna roll into that plank again like we did before, earlier in class, rolling into plank. Here you go. Make sure the insides of the elbows are pointed towards the top of your mat. Squeeze the thighs together, squeeze the glutes, squeeze everything. And then we're gonna go to a side plank. So if you need to drop to your knee and go, that's okay. Or just roll over and open up to your side plank. Or you can be down here on a knee. Wherever you are is just fine. Bring that the arch of your body up, so kind of like a rainbow. And then if you want to go a little deeper, lift a leg. Breathe. Exhale, back into your plank. And then we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to take a knee here. Raise up the shoulders. Point that nice straight leg. Nice diagonal, if you have your knee down, still rainbow arch. 
can lift the knee here, to even lift the leg, even if you have a knee down. And then exhale, slowly start to roll back into that plank. Breathing here. Exhale, roll into your down dog. Push the heels towards the floor. Maybe even step in a little bit. At our next pose, we're going into pigeon. And if you understand pigeon, then I'll go through that with you in just a moment. But if we have knee issues, then I want you to lay down on your back. Take your right foot over your left knee. Flex your right leg. Take your hands up underneath your knee and hold here. You can flex both feet. You can place your elbow into the knee for an extra stretch. And then those sitting up for pigeon the other way. Out of your downward dog, inhale the leg up. Take the knee on the outside of the right hand. Scooch the leg back. You can bring the foot up just a little bit. Square up the hips. Make sure your foot is nice and long right behind you. Big inhale, chest forward, exhale to the arms. And then on your next exhale, bring the head all the way down. You can come down to the mat or you can stack your palms or get a pillow. Just make sure your head is connected to the ground. Breathe here. Try to relax all the muscles in your face. Don't dump into this pose. Still to keep some integrity in it. And send that beautiful air to the place where you feel sensation. And see if you can let go more. slowly start to push yourself back up with your hands. Be very gentle here. And then I want you to take your right hand and put it kind of right in front of your face. Take the left hand to the left ankle. And just bring that to you any amount. Bring your chest forward. Look forward. Nice little stretch. Exhale that out. Now one little trick to get out of this pose is to take your toes down and give yourself a little scrunch up and then you can come back into your downward dog give your legs some circles hip circles here stretch it out if you're on your back then go ahead and release and switch sides and placing that foot back down inhale the left leg up and bring the left knee on the outside of the left hand and the foot towards the midline Scooch the back foot back. Bring the heart and chest forward. Exhale to the elbows. On your next exhale, come down as far as you like. Trying to keep the hips equal, the legs straight out behind you. Breathing in and out through the nose. Relax more. On your next inhale, slowly start to walk your hands back up. Take the left hand under your face, then grab the foot 
with the right hand, look forward, square off the shoulders. Keeping the hips square. Bring it in any amount. Good. Exhale that back down. Tuck the toes and give yourself a little switch up. Back into down dog. Yourself some hip circles. Good. Exhale back down. Big inhales and exhales. Really take that chest towards the thighs. Pushing on the knuckles. Notice how this down dog feels better or feels different than the first one that we did today. Exhale, come down to the knees. And then just swing your legs around. The front, and then like you're kind of punched in the stomach, round all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring the knees into the chest. Roll around on the back. Give yourself a little massage. And from here, pick your feet back on the ground. Make sure you can touch your heels, kind of shimmy down a little bit. We're going to go into a back bend. So inhale into bridge, pressing the hips forward, and then shimmy the arms underneath. Gra grab the fingers, and then we're not just lifting through the hips. We're actually rounding through the top of the back. Exhale, bring it down. Release. Bring the knees into the chest for just a little squeeze. And we'll go into that one more time. You can go deeper by going to wheel if you like. That's in your wheelhouse. Or coming right back into bridge. Try to bring your sternum closer to your chin without moving your chin closer to your sternum. And exhale, come down slowly. One knee into the chest and then the other. Place the feet on the floor, arms out by the side. Let the knees go side to side like a windshield wiper motion. from here, we're going to start to come into our relaxation pose, let the legs come out long, the fingers open up to the sky, feet flop out. Now you can pause the video here and then as long as you like, just kind of take a break. still with me. Take one nice deep breath. Exhale all through the mouth. Let everything be heavy and supported. Take a slightly deeper breath than the one before. Start to wiggle the toes and the fingers. And rotate the wrists and the ankles. When you reach your hands over your head, give yourself a nice good morning stretch. And then bringing the knees in, roll over to your favorite side. You can use your arm as a pillow, keeping your eyes closed here. An inward gaze. Just 
slowly push yourself up to a seated position. Bring the hands to the knees. Take in a couple nice long deep breaths here in through the nose. Fill the belly up with air. Exhale it all out. Inhale, fill it all up. Exhale all out. One more time. Bringing the hands to heart center, dipping the chin just slightly. The light within me loves, honors, and respects the light within all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today.